The second consignment of locally manufactured protective equipment, PPE by Equity Group Foundation and the Kenya COVID-19 Fund Board includes 266,000 respirator masks, 2.7 million three-ply surgical masks and 50,000 reinforced disposal gowns as well as 2 million pairs of natural gloves, 6,000 pairs of medical scrubs among others. In the week of all the items that I read, None of them is now imported. All of them are produced in the country and has created 4,000 jobs for Kenyans. According to James Mwangi, the Equity Group Managing Director and CEO, who is also the chair of the Kenya COVID-19 Fund Board Health Committee, noted that both Equity Group Foundation and the Kenya COVID-19 Fund Board remain committed to fulfilling their promise of supporting the medical fraternity in mitigating COVID-19 pandemic. Initially, when we started this journey, we thought we could support the country for six months. Then when we did the first order and saw the reduction, we committed to support the country for 18 months. I'm now happy to say we should be able to support the country for that uh, six months. Speaking on behalf of Kenya COVID-19 Fund Board Chair, Principal Administrative Secretary Office of the President and Secretary of the Kenya COVID-19 Fund Board, Kennedy Kihara, called on all beneficiaries of PBEs to make effective use of the commodities. Well, this initiative is, is very, very good that uh, now the COVID-19 Fund has taken up the issue of supporting students so that they will be able to continue with their clinical work and complete their program on time and therefore graduate in a timely manner to go and they serve uh, the Kenyans. This has been our dream and this has been our passion. It will really, really go a long way, more so in terms of the safety of the students. You've created a safety net for the students and we appreciate not only from University of Nairobi Medical School, but all medical students across Kenya. The Kenya COVID-19 Fund Board and Equity Group Foundation has for the past six months embarked on an initiative to support frontline health workers in public hospitals with PPEs as well as establishing a vibrant psychosocial support and mental wellness program and has now commenced the second phase of the PPE distribution amid the recently escalating caseload of infections across the country. Earlier this year, Equity Group Foundation donated 1.1 billion shillings in partnership with MasterCard Foundation, Equity Bank and the family of Dr. James Mwangi towards the provision of PPEs. Linda Koskeke, 24TV.